Hi, my name, uh, my name is Song Yu. Um, today I'm going to present our work, Universal Three-Dimensional Perturbations for Black Box Attack on Video Recognition System. So this is a joint work with my colleague Han, uh, Yu Kong, and my advisor, Yuan Hong. So our paper is on the video attacks. Uh, so what is adversary attacks? So machine learning models is known to be vulnerable to the adversary perturbations in various domains, such as image, speech, text, and video. Oh, sorry. So uh, here is a very famous example that give an image panda if we add a very minor perturbations, which is almost human imperceptible uh, to this clean image panda, we can turn this um, panda into adversary examples, which can be misclassified by the machine learning model to the Gibbon with very high confidence. So such adversary attack has been very powerful evaluations for revealing the machine learning model vulnerabilities in aspect of robustness. So our paper focused on the video recognition systems that uh, is integrated to the deep neural networks, or DNNs, in various tasks. For example, the video classification or knowledge detections, action predictions, and there are a lot of bunch of numerous DNN models, for, for example, CHD, S3D, which almost they, um, based on the learning special temporal features. I could take C3D as an example that C3D construct three-dimensional convolution layers to extract uh, the temporal um, features from the video. And uh, S3D is utilized in the anomaly detection in surveillance video uh, cameras, and it can be computer anomaly scores from the event of video. So there have been um, previous uh, video attacks which have some uh, limitations. The first is uh, inherited from image attacks that the video perturbations could be easily detected by the uh, lacking of a temporal consistency. On the other hand, that uh, the video um, perturbation will require a very high computation overheads. And another issue is called the boundary effect, which refer to the misalignment between the perturbations and the input videos which can cause the degradation of the attack performance. So such issue is first identified in the um, previous video attacks um, published in NDSS 2019, which is the first video attack um, in black box, in white box. So yeah, for our contributions, we propose a universal three-dimensional perturbations to attack video systems. And uh, we can attack any videos at any frames, and our attack will can work on a black box. We will utilize a straggling model to target the, um, to ta attack a target model with high sensibilities. And uh, our attack can also achieve very good human impossibilities with strictly bounded perturbation in infinity norm. Besides, we implement a um, attack prototype by the man in the middle attack to attack the video in real time. And we also evaluate our attack against the mainstream defense. So before I go into the attack design and optimizations, we first define our threat model. So we consider two attack scenarios. The first is offline, similar to the conventional image attack, that we can add perturbations to stack videos to turn into the adverse examples and then attack the model. And we also consider the online case that we can directly put up our streaming videos at any time. And correspondingly, our adversary will have two capabilities. The first, that we can directly craft adverse examples offline, and we can also perform the main middle attack to inject perturbations in real time. So our attack work on, on the black box setting, and we will take a surrogate model and a public data set to craft our adverse um, perturbations by model uh, transferabilities. So in our framework, we mainly um, construct uh, universal straight dimension noise to match the video attack uh, operation use 3D noise. So this use 3D noise is based on the procedure noise, which is, uh, can be generated by some algorithms with uh, predefined functions. So this is originally used in computer graphic, which can be um, enrich the video details, for example, texture and the shading. The main advantage of this procedure noise is that it can directly compute with a few parameters and it has no noticeable direction artifacts. So this advantage may make the procedure noise to be potentially fed for constructing the adversary perturbations. So since the procedure noise is based on the two-dimensional image and uh, we extend this procedure noise to match the three-dimensional video attack. So 
we construct um, the three-dimensional kernels um, by using two popular noise schemes, named um, Perlin and Gaber noise, and uh, we add extra di um, temporal dimensions. Yeah. And here is an example that um, we construct using uh, U3D uh, using Perlin noise. So after we construct our noise, um, let's talk about our tech framework. So the first is the local um, perturbation generations and optimizations. So we define the um, following goals that we want to achieve the high transferabilities uh, in the feature space, and we also want our tech to be universal by, and to perturb a, a, a large set of videos or unseen data examples. And we want also addressing the misalignment uh, in the video attacks. Mm, uh, of course, we want our attack to achieve very good human impossibilities. So after we set our goals, we will optimize our perturbation um, and uh, then uh, add it to the, um, the real attack. So uh, we want, we first, we also want to our attack to bypass the current defense schemes. And we have empirically validated that our attack can mitigate the uh, current mainstream um, schemes like adversary training, detection, safe and robustness. And we also uh, want our attack to be practical that by implementing a real attack prototype. So um, then we talk about the calibrate our perturbations. So for first goal that we want to improve the transferabilities. So it has been shown that if we crafting the adversary examples in the feature space, like um, among the intermediate layers among the model, which can result in um, uh, highly transferable adverse examples. And so we define uh, distant functions between uh, different layers in one model, and uh, so we will maximize the adverse examples and with original uh, videos. And next, we want to address the um, boundary effect. So we define the actual physical transformations by adding one extra um, time shift functions. So when we optimize our perturbations, we will add this shift f um, to the optimis uh, optimization process so we can uh, mitigate the boundary effect. And similar, we can also improve our uni attack universalities with a small set of videos. And uh, so, oh, I'm sorry. So we can uh, we can also like improving the use of university with a small set of um, videos and uh, so um, and uh, we also um, bounding our perturbations in infinity non bound and uh, for these opening equations we can utilize the hierarchical um, algorithm for example the particle swarm of optimizations PSO to solve the problem and uh, it's pretty straightforward that we can search um, the optimum parameters in the parameter space for 3D, U3D. And let's look into the experimental results. So for the first, we utilize the three main data sets, HMDB51 and UCF11 for video classification, and the UCF Kareem data set for anomaly detection. And we also use like five main models uh, to evaluate the transferabilities for our attack. And uh, here, I want to go to in details to introduce the, um, these um, um, video models. And uh, so we mainly report the attack performance in case of the uh, attack success rate. So for the first part, like we use the uh, HMDB51 as public data sets and the uh, UC101 and the UCF crime data sets uh, for the video classification and uh, non detection respectively. And we will use the C3D as a regular model and um, the C3D and S3D as a target model. We also choose like the Gaussian noise and the uniform noise and the uh, U3D noise with randomly um, picked up the parameters. Besides, we also um, choose the previous baseline, the CDUP, the previous NDSS paper. And uh, you can see from the table that our attack can achieve a play, um, higher attack success rates, about um, the 80% uh, success rates. And uh, for the transferabilities, we evaluate uh, our attack. We define a transfer rate that uh, the percent of adverse examples that craft on one model can be attacked to another model. And uh, you can see our uh, transfer rate, uh, rate is pretty high, about at least like 80%. 80 and uh, for the universalities, we also evaluate the three different data sets and we uh, measure the, the attack success rate uh, as well. 
And here is a visualization of the adverse examples. So for the first two rows, it's our uh, U3D noise. And uh, the third row is the uh, baseline CDUP. And we can clearly see that our um, U3D um, based uh, adverse examples achieve uh, um, better human impossibilities. So we also measure the real-time performance. So here that we implement a attack prototype by the man in the middle attack to eject uh, our uh, perturbations to our streaming videos. So here we uh, measure the computational uh, cost, which includes the encoding and uh, decoding operations for the video, and uh, also include the inject perturbations. So you can see the total runtime is less, still less than the original video FPS, about the uh, 0.033 seconds. And we also show uh, two examples that about after our perturbing and the uh, anomaly uh, videos can be uh, converted to the uh, normal videos. And the last, we also evaluate our attack against the main defense. Uh, so for the adversary training, we specifically adopt uh, the so-called universal adversary trainings that specifically targeted for the universal perturbations. And uh, you can see the uh, adversary training can defend our attack to some extent. However, this adversary training requires the actual knowledge of our U3D noise. Besides, it's, it's, time, uh, con it's uh, kind of computational uh, costly because it's like a mean maximum uh, optimizations. And we also evaluate the detections uh, with two popular methods. And uh, uh, it shows that our attack is more difficult to detect. And last, I want to talk, um, we also evaluate the state of robustness, which is um, like a random smoothing, which utilizes a Gaussian noise at the, the, the input to state fetch um, the input with some boundary, uh, boundary and non linears. So, since uh, the state fed robustness is cursed of the high dimensional input, so the state fed uh, uh, linears is pretty small for the uh, high, high dimensional input of videos. So the slavery robustness is still like a kind of weak for defending the video attacks. So to conclude, we first identify the critical vulnerabilities of video DNA models even equipped with state-of-art defense scheme. And uh, we implement a, a real prototype uh, for text streaming videos. And uh, we believe our attack could motivate some machine learning and security researchers and developers to build more robust video DNA models. That's it. Uh, thank you for attention. I'm happy to take questions right now. Please step up to the microphone if you have any questions. Maybe in the meantime, I'll start with one. Yeah. Um, so sure. one of the baselines you looked at, um, randomly initial, can you hear? Yeah, 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 I can hear. One of the baselines you looked at randomly set the parameters. And yeah, it still yeah. had attack success rates like forty or fifty percent success rate. Yeah, that yeah. It seems very high. Like what? Like what makes the baseline so so strong? I would say like uh, the first is like video uh, system, like w video model based uh, system is kind of vulnerable, you know, to the adversary attack, which has been uh, identified before. Like we kind of want to, and another is like uh, the I think the U3D noise like have a natural or like like properties which can craft corrupt the video features, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, very nice. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, I'll ask another then. Yeah. Um, cool. So, uh, um, yeah, please feel, feel, feel free to. Um, yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, uh, yeah. Other people can come, otherwise, I'll just keep asking questions. Yeah. We, have, we have time. Yeah, thanks, uh, everyone. Yeah. Um, uh, also, people online, if you want to ask any questions. Yeah. So it's not, I don't have seen any yet. Um, so, um, in the like detection task, mm -hmm. you're able to add noise so that the the object is like the where the event is not triggered like the uh, anomaly detection you make, you add noise so there's no anomaly yeah did you look at if you can add noise to make there be an anomaly yes yes we 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 only show the like uh, the an example like about to convert the anomaly to a, a, a normal I, is one of them harder than the other yeah yeah it's kind of like uh, because the 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 mean um like fi the the video model as a feature extractors and the uh, the, the normally scores is actually a downstream task, and our main attack is like com like like subvert to the feature extractor, and so the the anomaly score computers will definitely different as we craft the features. Yeah. No other questions. 
Okay, I'll ask one more, and then maybe we'll maybe get one more final question, otherwise we'll stop. So, um, it, it looks like the attacks on video seem to be a lot more difficult and use a lot more priors than attacks on images. Because mm -hmm. the attacks, um, do you think that this is just fundamentally because video is harder or, or higher dimensional or, or why, why are these attacks, why do video attacks look different in nature than attacks on images? So I think like, uh, as I mentioned, like uh, they have the actual like temporal dimension, like uh, which, which is not uh, like uh, mm, hard to attack, but uh, it's not uh, can be, you know, just directly utilize the image attack to the uh, video attack. Uh, to, uh, and uh, another like, I want to defend such uh, video attacks it, because the video uh, attack, uh, it, video is kind of uh, dynamic, like it's not a static, you know, uh, two dimensional images. And uh, uh, so for example, we, we, we don't know like after there has been like uh, other variables uh, uh, so for example, the video, you know, ha maybe have the future, um, like, like unseen events, and uh, it could be hard, like, to to see that if we attack it. So it's, 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 it's sometimes it's very, it will be hard to detect the, the, the attacks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. let's thank the speaker Thanks. one more time. <laughs>